There's also really strong tidal currents. Nobody really knows when they go in what particular direction. So we got swept away from land a couple of times. Hi, I'm Petra Hilleberg. I'm here in the Black Raven Brewing Company in Redmond, Washington, together with Justine Kurgenman. Hi. She's one of the most uh, amazing paddlers and filmmakers that we have these days, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> You've done a lot of uh, pretty amazing trips uh, paddling around really, really big islands. You want to name a couple? Um, I've paddled around the South Island of New Zealand, Tasmania, Ireland, the Queen Charlotte Islands. Um, Isla Grande and Terra del Fuego. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with going around things, it seems. <laughs> but you also, your most recent trip was uh, along the Illusion Islands. Yeah, that was a really cool trip as well. That was two and a half thousand kilometers along the Aleutian Island chain and Alaskan Peninsula with Sarah Uten. Right, yeah, and that, that has uh, some of the most uh, harsh weather that you can have in a kayak, right? Yeah, it's called the birthplace of the winds and there's also really strong tidal currents and nobody really knows when they go in what particular direction. So we got swept away from land a couple of times. We weren't sure when we'd be able to reach land. We also had a bear come and uh, come and ride up to Sarah when she was having a naked wash in a stream. <laughs> it was a pretty epic trip. Really, yeah, that one will stick with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's a pretty amazing. And then now you're here. Uh, in Washington State and then you're gonna go up to Canada to, to paddle around uh, Vancouver Island. Yeah exactly this is gonna be my first solo trip since about 2002 so I'm, I'm really excited about it and yeah. I'm a little bit nervous yeah um, but I think that's healthy to be a little bit I nervous. think you should be a little yeah. bit maybe. <laughs> I think I'm more nervous about being in my own company <laughs> than I am about the big waves or the bears but I'm a bit nervous about those as well. You might get waves and bears too, yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Maybe I'll have someone to talk to. Talk to the bears. <laughs> um, and on all these trips, you've obviously been using some tents. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I know on this trip you're going to use a, an Alec. Yeah. And uh, you, yeah, you've used the Tara quite a bit. Yeah, I've used the same Tara around Tierra del Fuego in uh, Patagonia and along the Aleutian Island chain and on a few kind of shorter trips. Oh, and around Ireland, so it's... Lots uh, of wind. Yeah, it's still going strong after, I don't know how many days, well over 100 days in the field, um, probably more like 200. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's a fantastic tent. It's great that uh, have, it has a vestibule on either end, so whoever you're sharing with, you can have your own end. My end is usually quite messy, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, some of the people I paddle with don't like mess. Right. So it's, That's good it's perfect because yeah. it's actually, it looks messy, but there is a kind of order in there, honestly. I'm sure, but I'm sure, of course. The, the point is that we can have our own space, yeah. um, and it's a very roomy vestibule, so I can put all my wet paddling kit um, in there and the stove and other bits and pieces there's plenty of room for all of it yeah. and if you need to pee in the night you can you can get out without disturbing the other person yeah. um, so for and a yeah. longer we often talk about for a longer expedition uh, having the two entrances is pretty oh yeah it's it's brilliant it really is a really nice feature yeah. and I love the fact that the outer goes up first and you can clip the inner in and it just means we can always keep the inner dry it never gets wet even in Patagonia where we had a lot of rain um, you know, it's nice to know you've always got a snug, dry tent. Yeah. yeah. And I love the footprint as well. That makes a massive difference. Um, also, well, obviously protecting the ground sheet, but also in the vestibules. It means you're not kind of losing things in the grass or the sand. It doesn't get sand all over it. It just protects your stuff from that and you can easily find it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's great. Nice. Well, I'm glad you like it. And then uh, you also have a, a film production company called Cackle TV. I do. <laughs> Why is it called Cackle TV? I'm not sure I can spontaneously <laughs> laugh. <laughs> well, there we go, maybe I can. That was a little one, but that'll, that'll, that'll have to keep you going. So it has to do with your laugh. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, I like that. That's awesome. Um, and then after your Vancouver Island trip, what, what other trips do you have planned? Or are you going to kind of, are you done circumnavigating big islands or what's your plan? Um, I'm not done circumnavigating islands, but um, I don't have any other plans at the moment for, for big trips or anything, but I'm sure that there will be some, or yeah. small trips or medium trips or all of them. Um, the next thing I'm definitely doing is going back to Antarctica in February. I guided a trip down there um, a couple of years ago and we, we sail out there from Ushuaia across the Drake Passage. 
and then we've had two weeks kayaking around in Antarctica and I'll take my Sulu on that which oh, I okay. took last time which yeah. worked really well with the snow stakes in yeah, the snow yeah. so um yeah so because the solo was just in Indonesia with you and now it gets to go to Antarctica. Exactly, it's, it's a versatile tent. It, it can handle changes in temperature better than I can. <laughs> That's great. Well, we really look forward to uh, seeing uh, what's next and have a fantastic time on Vancouver Island. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>